This problem looks at two examples of algebraic fractions. In the first one we're asked to simplify one fraction. The method here is to factorise the top and the bottom separately. Now the top is not too hard to factorise. There's an x squared, so x and x. But there's a minus 4. So therefore the factors of minus 4 is 4 times minus 1. And 4 take 1 is 3. So it's x plus 4 and x minus 1. The bottom requires a 2x and an x. However, to get those numbers is not so easy. But if we consider the options, to get a plus 3 here and a minus 5 there requires a minus 1 and a minus 3. I'll show you how. It's either that way or that way. Minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3. But in the top option, minus x, take away 6x, gives me minus 7x. But in the second option, minus 2x, take away 3x, is minus 5x, which gives the required term for the x. So therefore it's 2x, take away 3, and x, take away 1. They are now the same above and below, so I can then cancel off those two brackets. So the answer is x plus 4 all over 2x minus 3. So again, the method here is to try to factorise the top and the bottom, listing the options where necessary. Once it's factorised, cancel anything that's the same above and below. The second example is adding together two algebraic fractions. Now the method here is to put brackets around the bottoms. Now then, I must times the first fraction, top and bottom, by x minus 2. I must then times the second fraction by the x plus 2. Because I've times the top and the bottom, I've not changed the fractions, but I've now got the same denominator in both fractions. So, 4 times x is 4x, four, 4 times 2 is 8, is minus, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. They're now all over the same denominator. This can then be simplified. 4x plus 3x is 7x. Minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. All over x plus 2 and x minus 2.